You're very welcome back. Now, Edward Hayden is here with me in the kitchen. We're making a Christmas dessert, but not the traditional Christmas pudding or Christmas cake. Tis too no. late for the Christmas pudding now, Tommy. Oh, is it? Tis too late. There'll be no boiling or not. steaming on your Christmas not. pudding. Down to the supermarket, take Oh, what? Don't Lock, say that. Wash out your mouth. <laughs> I leave. Now, uh, yes, I'm going to do the alternative because I, uh, like lots of other people around the country, actually don't like dried fruit, so I don't eat Christmas cake or pudding or mince yeah, pies or anything like that. Yeah. So this is a kind of a gorgeous alternative and lovely, actually, to go have as a gift because lots of people maybe are going to be dining out this Christmas uh, as well. So I'm actually going to get started. Or not, of course. Or, or not, yeah. Well, again, yeah, people are going to be uh, sensitive, I Have suppose, and sympathetic to the numbers. Yeah. Absolutely. So what I've got, this is the simplest ever recipe for chocolate biscuit cake. So what I've got is I've got four ounces, uh, 110 grams of butter. I have eight ounces, 225 grams of dark chocolate. And then I just have one tin of condensed milk as well. So um, I'm just going dark to chocolate. scoop Why? all that in. Could you put milk chocolate You could in? use milk chocolate. Now, I would always say to people, you know, because, you know, chocolate is one of those things that people often worry about you know how much should you use what percentage and everything I always say to people anything from 55 to 72 is kind of the what I would recommend sometimes you know people might think for a real special occasion to buy the 80 or the 85 or mm. the 90 and I actually just think it's a bit too intense and okay. you lose a sense of it being either sweet or savory um, so that's what I'm saying about 55 to 72 is what I would suggest right. now okay. Do that over a low heat. Uh, now, as always in TV, do as I say, but not as I do, <laughs> yeah. because I'm actually doing mine on a higher heat. But I'm just keeping there. an eye on it as well, uh, because it's really important that, obviously, think of the butter, think of the condensed milk, and think of the chocolate. They all have that propensity to burn. Now, what I've got is I've got a two-pound pudding base, and this is my little bit of Mary Fitzgerald, <laughs> uh, if you remember. Uh, so I've got my two-pound pudding base in here, and I'm just going to use a little bit of oil spray. Now, again, you can get the kind of the oil spray you know like that you'd be using for your stir fry so this is just a larger version or brush it with oil if you want now if you're kind of nervous of the process Tommy what you could do is line the whole thing with a uh, cling film line the whole bowl with cling film but I just like to have that kind of uh, smooth finish on the pudding would it, um, be as a bit, well. would it taste a bit oily though no no that's... it won't it'll just give it a really nice gloss now like, is that an olive oil or is it like a uh, no oil it's a kind of a little sunflower oil so okay. sunflower is a kind of a flavorless oil which okay. is which is good. That's literally uh, just there. We'll give it another little second or two. And then what I've got is I've got biscuits. Now, can I just say to um, viewers at home, if they're making like a chocolate biscuit cake mm. in a, like a loaf tin or something, you can use a pound of biscuits or 450 grams. Because I want mine much smoother and much less textured around the edge, mm -hmm. I've suggested in the recipe to use anything from about 300 to 350. So just about 100 grams less. And again, the recipe will suggest to you that you can use... Uh, um, like digestives, you can use rich tea, ginger nut, Twix, Mars bar, crunchy. What's your favourite? Throw whatever. I actually like just the digestive, to be honest with you. I was going to say, I yeah, like just the plain. I was thinking you were going to say a rich tea for a second. I yeah. was thinking, I don't know about that. But no, I just perfect. like the digestive. So you can see, Tommy, we're literally seconds away from that being really nice and smooth. And then what I want to do is just get in your biscuits into that. So breaking your biscuits in there. And what, could you put the Mars bars? Mars in bars are well? gorgeous in it. Oh. Think of bars of crunchy. Throw in a little yes. few bar, a few bags of Maltesers. So use the weight in whatever amount that you like. Uh, again, people might like to put in that kind of more rocky road type ingredients. So things like nuts or cherries or uh, oh, even little mini marshmallows would be lovely in there as well. So that's my biscuits. You can see I'm just giving them a little uh, squash that's a up. Lot, that's a lot of biscuits for just that little tin, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, wait till you see it now. It will all squash in. So Literally, that is about that, Tommy. So I want it to be a little bit looser uh -huh. than it would be if it was normally... Um, I will be able to afford to put in the rest of them. But I want it to be a little bit looser than if I was making the kind of the normal uh, chocolate bi biscuit Was cake. that like a packet? Uh, it's shy of a packet. Okay. A packet is 400 so grams, so it's a, a bit of, shy. You get to have a cup, cup of, tea. of tea. Perfect. Now, in that, it's going to go, Tommy, just like that. Now, again, um, I mightn't necessarily have the time for it here, but if I was at home now, I would just spend three or four minutes just squashing all of that down just like that to make sure that it's gone nice to the edge Lovely use the stuff. kind of the edge of an eye for something so pop that into the fridge and let it set and then here what I've got is I just have a little bit of uh, roll out icing so I've just rolled it out yeah one second oh one second so and I'm just going to do a free farming uh, version oh. of this Look so this, this is going to be my little 
So you see, I could be Mary Fitzgerald. You could. Now, perhaps. the little bit of uh, a little drippage uh, is what we're trying to create here. Okay. So if you can just see, and if I just transfer that out, just like so, we should have a lovely little bit of uh, kind of that snowflake ah. drippage. I have a little bit of royal icing, which I'll just pipe onto the top. And then, of course, late last night, I made a lovely bit of holly leaf with some green uh, icing as well. Do you know what, Edward, that's too nice. I can't even, can't even touch that. It wouldn't be Christmas without the little bit of uh, glitter. That. But isn't that a gorgeous little gift to give to somebody? And you can see, Tommy, what I've done around the bottom is I've just put a little tiny ribbon just to kind of finish it off. Edward, hey, you're going to have a slice? Cut well, it. I'm not cutting nice. it. Okay, well, I'll cut it during the break. Are you yeah. sure? Okay, well, if you're well, going to cut, cut it, I'll yeah, cut it. Then, Listen, I'll aren't she definitely. worth cutting the biscuit? I thought paper. you were going to take it home and give it away to someone. Ah, come here, I tell you now, it wouldn't be that bad. Go on, throw it over. Now, quickly. lash it over to you there. And that's it. And just look at the lovely look uh, texture. The texture. Sorry, now. I even brought my little snowflake plate as well. That you have to keep a little slice for the lovely class. Elaine. Thank you very much, yeah. Uh, gorgeous, and you have the tea. They're not too bad. So uh, perfect Christmas dessert, perfect, oh, 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 perfect gift to give if you're going to someone else as well. And happy Christmas to Edward all. Edward Hayden, happy Christmas Top again. Thanks. Right. Great to have you with us again. Now coming up after the break, we have you sorted with a stylish on-trend Christmas season fashion. That's coming up next.